Hi, this is Alex Maines with an Audio Precision Quick Tip. Quick Tips provide a brief look at an APX500 feature or function. This Quick Tip demonstrates how to save captured waveform result data as a WAV file. An exported WAV file from acquired signal result data can be useful for later analysis and playback. It is especially useful if an anomaly is encountered during acquisition. The result data can be exported once the acquisition is complete and used to identify the anomaly. Until APX 500 version 6.1, only measurement recorder and noise recorder measurements have had the option to save result data to WAV files. But this feature requires turning on the WAV capture in advance of making acquisitions. In this way, catching an unusual event in the waveform would require saving every waveform acquired, which may not be the best use of time or disk space. With the release of version 6.1, WAV files can also be exported from any result that contains waveform data, including acquired waveforms, reference waveforms, and impulse response results. These results are in measurements like acoustic response, continuous sweep, loudspeaker production test, and transfer function. Exporting WAV files is supported in both sequence mode and bench mode. With this feature, you can evaluate a result waveform and then determine if you want to save it or not. Let's take a look at how this is done. There are several ways to access the dialog used to export data to WAV files in supported measurements. So you can use the method that fits your measurement requirements. In this example, we are looking at the acoustic response measurement, but the process is the same with other supported measurements. To export data to WAV files, you can click on the Save Graph Data icon in the Graph toolbar and select WAV Files to open the Export Result to WAV dialog. In the dialog, you have access to the configuration options to select the result to use, to set file name and location for the exported WAV, and to select a format and bit depth. Acoustic Response has three results that can be exported to a WAV file. They are Impulse Response, Sound Track Residual Waveform, and Acquired Waveform. The default location is set to the My Documents directory using a variable. The default name is also set with variables, but you can edit the location and name fields to match your requirements using other variables or explicit paths. For more information on the configuration options, see the documentation included with APX 500. You can also use a graph context menu by right-clicking a supported graph and selecting Save and then WAV files to open the same Export Result to WAV dialog. And you can access the Export to WAV dialog from the Export menus in both Data Grid windows and the Data Sets toolbar. Additionally, you can add a sequence step in sequence mode to save data to a WAV file during a sequence. This is done by clicking Add Step in the Sequence Steps for the measurement and selecting Export WAV Files. This opens the Export WAV Files dialog, where you can name the step and set the same configuration options found in the Export Results to WAV dialog. For more information on configuration options, see the documentation included with APX 500. That's all for now. Look for additional quick tips at ap.com and thanks for watching.